What's going on everyone? It is Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. We are back from a two week break, which at that point we were back from a two week break. So I apologize guys. I have been dropping the ball and uploading videos. Life has been crazy, crazy, crazy busy. But today we have the all famous update video. I'm gonna show you guys all the animals in the yard. We're gonna get a look at the garden, which is ceasing to exist. We're gonna look at all the tortoises, all the turtles in the pond, which you saw, but we're also going to be doing the update on measuring all the tortoises. We last measured them all, tracking their growth over, it was almost a year period, some of which grew almost five inches, but this is winter growth we're gonna be tracking right now. Um, sorry, I'm trying to avoid the shadows. Um, from October to April, so that is November, December, January, February, March, we're almost a six month update. So that's what the goal is for today. Give you guys that six month update on all these tortoises, all of their growth. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some food. There's the chickens. We always gotta show them some love. We'll let them out for the video. How about that, guys? Um, and I'm actually gonna grab this egg because for some reason they always break the green egg and eat it. So, hey, and look, there's a little baby box turtle out. Well, he's not a baby, it's a juvenile. I love these box turtles, they are so cool. Oh, can't wait to get more of them. Anywho, good to see them out. Um, but we are gonna go get some Missouri for the big tortoises. And then we are gonna put the small tortoises down for a soak. But let's go ahead and put this egg away. They right. They right. Sorry, this room's a friggin' mess. It's changed a little bit since last time you guys saw it, but the light is off right now because it's on a temperature gauge, but they get UV exposure every day. We've got the water set up right here for them. So we're gonna give them a soak. And I mean, guys, these things have gotten huge. Look how big this thing is. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like in the last video. I may throw a card, but I mean, massive, 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 massive. This is the smallest of the albinos. He was the super shriveled one, if you guys remember. He's got growth lines now in between all of his scutes. He's finally grown out. So that is exciting. And then, this albino is getting huge as well. And then we've got the one last hit, which he is, where is he? Of course, in the farthest corner. This one is huge as well. So, this guy already relieved himself. Look how big these things are. The normal ones are, the, the hets are a lot bigger than the albinos. We're, we're gonna talk about that topic in this video, but we're getting them set up for a soak, and then what we are going to do, get the Missouri and start measuring those tortoises. As you can tell, Leroy's outside jail cell is a lot bigger than it used to be. And I didn't fail to mention, as you can tell, we opened up the wall and the tortoises have over double the size of the yard they used to have. So they literally have a way bigger enclosure than they used to have. Um, this is something I just did like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, Leroy's loving it for when he's outside because he likes to bark at people. So he ends up going out here my wife's teaching the piano. And then the tortoises are loving it because they have so much room to explore and grass to eat. And as you can tell, they have literally eaten the grass down too. Nothing already. And that right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're gonna talk about that here before the end of the video. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna see the growth on these tortoises. We're gonna talk about that spot on the ground there. And I may give you guys a sneak peek at an announcement we've got coming soon to the channel, but you guys will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Missouri. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, that was a quick little time lapse. I don't know if the water turtles ate for you, but as you can tell, we've got the Missouri out and the tortoises are going crazy. Chickens, they like to eat the crumbs of it too. We have the iPad set up. All the growths from October of last year. We're gonna go ahead and uh, 
real quick, I dug up an earthworm. We're gonna see if we can get the box turtle to eat on camera. So let's go check that out. Because that's one of the cool things about the box turtles is I can find the earthworm, which I dug up, uh, the chicken squat, is how they love earthworms. And that little bit of movement. And I walked away for two seconds. He ate the earthworm. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> we'll find another one someday. Anywho, back to the measuring, get the camera set up, catch you guys there in one minute. All right, guys, let's start measuring. First on the list, we have Rose, one of the original albinos. inches. All right, she was ten and a half last time. All right, let's go check Scarlet. She was fourteen and three quarters last time, guys. Opa! Nope. Fourteen and three quarters. She is now sixteen on the nose. These two are my original. These two are sisters. They're the, they were the exact same size when I got them. And now they are two different sizes. Okay. We got J1. And again, these are just the way I label them. Watch out, watch out, watch out. All right. J1 was 12 and a quarter last time. Now she is 13 and a quarter. There we go. We're growing, guys, we're growing. I know this isn't the most glorious shot. H1, um, I know which tortoise this was, but I me I didn't record the last measure correctly last time. All right. No. 13 is this. Oh, this is H1. H1 is this one. Here is H1. H1, I want to say it was about 11 last time. I could be wrong, let's see. 11, maybe she was less. I don't know. Let's call it 11 and a quarter. There you go. J2 is this legendary tortoise, which is getting absolutely massive. J2 was 14 and a half last time. Now she is, wow, she's 16 and an eighth. Holy cow. That is insanity. And guys, I'm only keeping them on their backs for a second, so they're gonna be just fine. Okay, this one. and three quarters last time and we're gonna talk about her in a little bit she is I'm gonna call it 17 on the nose 17 on the nose she grew this is the big kahuna This one was 16 on the nose last time. And now she is 16, let's call it 17 on the nose too. All right. So those two are huge. Um, here's the next one. They're all ticked because I'm taking them from the Missouri. I'm trying to do this quickly, guys. This one was 13 and a half last time. Now she is 
14 on the nose. And then we've got A1. That's my male. A1 this is my most active male right here. You've seen him on Instagram if you follow me there. If not, go follow me. He is definitely a male and my most active male. He is around to 13 and a half on the nose. He was 12 and an eighth before, so he's did pretty good growth. 13, five. His brother, which I'm gonna put the video right here. Finally, flashed me his male goodies. So that's exciting. He is 13 and a quarter. He was 12 and a half last time. And he's really coming out of his shell. And then, last but not least, Tinkerton. This is the tiny guy. He is not really growing too much since I got him. He was about five inches when I got him. He was six inches after six months. So he was six inches back in October. And hey, he grew. Six and a half. Good one on you, mate. Six and a half inches. At least he's growing. That's all I want to know. Okay, what we got to add onto this list is we need to add at one. Pet two, Al one, and Al two. Okay, guys, we got all these guys measured. If you guys can see that, showing their growth. I think the most growth we saw was about an inch and a quarter over the, uh, yeah, an inch and a quarter was the most. Most of them were like half an inch to an inch and a quarter. And that was over the course of about five and a half months. Um, yeah, about five months, a little over five months in the winter, they grew about a half an inch to an inch and a quarter all of them. So let's go ahead and measure the tiny tortoises real quick because they have exploded. I don't have their previous numbers here, but I'll put a clip at the end of the video and uh, I'll put a picture of this growth chart at the end of the video. So definitely uh, stick by to the end of the video because I'm gonna put how much the little ones have grown since we measured them last time, which was probably two months ago or so, maybe a month ago. But anywho, we're gonna go with the baby tortoises. All right, here we are. They are all soaking. Let me go ahead and see if we can't get this camera set up in a manner that is balanced and makes sense for you guys. All right. So again, stick by for the end of the video so you can see the growth on these tortoises. The biggest of the little pets is three, say three and an eighth. The bigger one is three and a quarter. I'm gonna go record that. Quarter. Three and one eighth. Little owl. So this guy is going to be called Little Al. Um, he is about two and a half. Wow, that's crazy. Two and a half and Big Al. Got to see that, your eights. The white stuff coming out of his tail. If you don't know what that is, go watch one of my videos. It talks about it. Big Al is dun, 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 two and three quarters. So we got two and a half and two and three quarters.
Alrighty, you guys got a quick little time lapse there of the tortoises eating. Look how massive these things are. I mean, my shoe looks tiny compared to her. Anywho, oh, forgot to mention about her. Um, that spot in the yard. Anywho, real quick, guys. I'm all over the place. Got a lot of things I want to cover. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video up until now. My camera thing broke. Um, but what we are going to be doing is going over what I got here. We've got this pond, which is doing phenomenal. We've got two albino rated sliders that are males and three 100% head albinos that are females that will hopefully lay eggs for me this spring. We have got 11 total albino sulcatas here um, across the yard. There's two other normal sulcatas, which I think they're inside the shelter right now over there. They didn't even pop up in this video. Anyway, those are going away in two weeks. Those are my father-in-laws. We got three chickens. We got two box turtles. There's one and there's another box turtle, which those were a gift from one of my clients to do with my day job. We're just giving you a rapid tour really fast of all the animals. We have got one tiny Yorkie poo, weighs five pounds. She's hairy right now. We got Leroy, who is a mini Bernadoodle. He's a turd, if you haven't noticed yet. And then we've got two albinos and two 66% het albino. They're all siblings. If you got the total tally of animals I have, put it in the comments below. Give me the breakdown if you know what I got. And even better, more points, if you know what genders they all are, besides the box turtles and the baby turtles in the house. But anywho guys, uh, real quick before I forget, two things, this whole heater, Right here. Could be a tortoise digging a tunnel, but that female 17 inches, I've got a good hunch that it might be a test hole. Meaning two things, she has infertile eggs inside of her, or number two, my male somehow successfully bred her. I would love that guys. Either way, infertile eggs still makes me happy. So that's what's going on there. And then, I'm not gonna spill the beans quite yet, but stick around guys, because over the next probably two, three weeks, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, because there are some big, big things coming to the channel soon. So it's gonna be awesome. So click the subscribe button. We're definitely gonna make that announcement here in the next probably two or three weeks. So there's gonna be a lot of big things regarding these tortoises, future tortoises, future turtles, more chickens, more animals way more space anywho guys i said too much click the subscribe button appreciate you guys stopping by as always have a great day and i'll catch you guys next time this is hayden state 48 turtle and tortoise you guys have a good one. Oh, and don't forget stick around to the end of this video right now because i'm going to put the final tally on the growth for all the tortoises appreciate you guys and all your support thanks